Hey guys, I'm back. Hope you missed me, because I missed you. Now, since the January transfer window is done, and, you know, we got the special Valentine's Day coming up, I thought I'd do a Valentine's Day special for all of you football, soccer, whatever you call it, lovers out there. Now, let's see. The transfer window, January transfer window. I think the biggest winners... I know most of you will say it's biased because of this badge out there. But I think United war winners, but I would say Sheffield United. Sandro Berger. The kid's got talent. He is a player. He can control the ball, can make movements. Funny enough, Chris Wilder, the Sheffield United manager, or I may have got his name wrong, but... He seems to be playing football manager because these are all football manager up and coming talents. So interesting to see. And boy, the guy has performed a miracle. Top seven for a team like Sheffield United? That's impressive. Amazing to say the least. And with the amount of money the likes of Villa and everybody else have spent, he has got to give, be given all the credit he needs to deserve. Going to, well, I'm going to talk about United, guys, whether you like it or not. <laughs> it's just what I do. Getting Bruno Fernandes, finally. Brilliant player, but now, for God's sakes, don't make the same mistake. Put him in the number 10 position. He is a number 10. Now, when it comes to it, a lot of criticism seems to be coming towards all the for selling. Lukaku. Guys, let's get one thing clear. Lukaku wanted to leave. He forced a move out. Now, Ed Woodward has to take part to blame because he wasn't replaced. Marcus Rashford is not a center forward. I don't care whatever you say. Human Kenyans out there, you might think he's the best player. He's a tremendous player, but he plays from the flank. Think about how when, we had, when Ronaldo was first coming up. Started out wide, then drifted in. That space, that pace can make him dangerous, can make him deadly. And he has the work ethic to track back. Martial has left a lot to be desired about at center forward. Igalo, I'm interested to see how the kid does. Because it was his dream to play for United. He's in United. Well, they got him uh, <laughs> confined away from the training station. The training area because of the coronavirus for 14 days. So until his incubation period goes up, uh, is done, he won't join with his teammates. Now, uh, I gotta take my serious look. I gotta sit up straight. Liverpool getting Minamoto. No one's catching Liverpool. Let's get that straight. Premier League going to Anfield. Sorry for all of us who are left out there. We're not gonna uh, and we're not gonna stop hearing about it till the end of the world. Or maybe who knows? Maybe the world might just end before the last game. <laughs> But jokes aside, I think Liverpool deserved it. They have been tremendous all season. Second, City will finish in the top four. Then it's all up in the air. Everybody else. Leicester, United, uh, Arsenal, Spurs. Sheffield United are still in there. Uh, Tottenham, Leicester and Chelsea. Very inconsistent, every one of them. So it's still up in the air, but honestly, I think the top four will stay as is. For United, best way to get in the Champions League, win the Europa League. Gonna be interesting with Inter in there, and look and three of United's former players coming up against them, if they do meet in the next round. That'll be interesting. I promise you I'll do a special segment just on that for you guys. But in the end, well, the way the transfer window went, it was not much big activity. Apart from Chelsea, Chelsea's current signing, they were abysmal. You appeal to get the to get that transfer window open for you so you can sign players, then you don't sign nobody. And then all of a sudden they signed the Moroccan international Ziyech from Ajax. The kid's got talent. He is intelligent with his ball play. So I'm kinda excited to see how he does next year in in the Chelsea ranks and where he'll play. For United, they got to have a good window. Ed Woodward's message was to 
this is a chance to reboot but let's see they need champions league football they'll be able to attract grealish maybe madison just because of big wages and lester might decide to cash in on him like maguire but in the end it's it's gonna have to be a player like jaden sancho and a world class center forward you got shiro immobile who's over 20 you got robert lewandowski but you're not gonna mobile might be a good chance for you but you got to find some high quality i don't know where they'll get one from mm. thinking off the top of my head who can play center forward galo might be an amazing short term solution who might find united to grow the glory but hmm. if you guys come up with a name who you think would be a good center forward for united Feel free to leave leave me a DM on here, but I'm not so sure who's out there. Apart from Immobile, who's, whose price can be manageable. And yeah, that's it. Immobile, Sancho. Madison, Grealish. Four players. And get a center half in there. After Rojo leaving, and are short at the back. So, get a center half in there. A high-quality, reliable partner for Maguire. Maguire's, everybody's inconsistency seems to be work, rubbing off on Maguire. The captain, we haven't seen the best of him yet. Hopefully, we start getting that player that Leicester had, who was the, who was the corner and, like, the rock of their back line. Need him to be there. Juan Bisaka, Revelation. By far the best player this season. Now, I don't need to talk about Liverpool. They're just amazing. City, same. They're great. I think their their best route for success is the FA Cup, the Garbao Cup. Most likely there will be no offense to Villa, but it's going to be a hiding there. And then the Champions League against Real Madrid. I'm excited for that tie. Well, I'll hopefully see you guys back on Sunday after the United-Chelsea game, where you're going to have a special segment for that, too. I'll see ya. Take care. Bye.